Can't help it I keep going to yesterday Those feelings I pick apart and rearrange <laughs> This is so weird, I have a microphone. What's up guys? I am coming to you from the south of France with my new microphone. How exciting is this? I feel really legit. I feel like a professional. I'm not a professional. Today I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit about what I've been up to in quarantine and maybe you guys can share with me what you guys have been up to, ways to stay creative. I thought of five and I'm gonna share them in this video. All right, so <laughs> basically since quarantine has started, I have made it a point not to get on Netflix. I've only been on Netflix once, and that's only to watch drive, a Formula One Drive to Survive. I think that's what it's called because everyone's been raving about it and I've been getting into doing sort of sporting documentaries. So I wanted to watch that. That was really cool. I watched a couple of episodes, but other than that, I've been really good and I've stayed off Netflix. I've definitely been on YouTube, but that's a totally different story. That's, that's research, right? <laughs> so this video is basically just to show you what I have been up to and what you guys, if you're feeling inspired, can get into if you want to be creative this quarantine, be, be proactive, be productive, be entertaining, just entertain yourself basically, because I think anyone who says they're bored is boring. And I hope that's not you. I shouldn't say that, that's mean. If you want to have a look at what I've been up to during quarantine, here it is. Five things I've been up to. I don't know why I chose five. Five such a random number. I kind of, I, I was just writing them out and stopped on five. A plus five is my jersey number, so I'm a little bit biased. If you know me, you know that I am obsessed with photography. I mean, you don't even have to be my friend or my family member or even watch these YouTube videos. I literally sometimes just stop people in the street and talk to them about camera. I know I'm weird, but I love photography ever since a few years ago when I I travel so much And I wanted to just get some photos that were a little bit better than just iPhone snaps So I upgraded to DSLR and then since then have just gone ham on the photos and I've been upgrading my kit little by little and my skills and learning Photoshop and Lightroom and all of the things that come along with taking photos. Some of you guys probably know that I did the photo shoot for our calendar for our team this year. I love shooting my teammates. I love shooting travels. And during this quarantine, I hopped on Skillshare, not sponsored by them or anything, but I don't know why you have to say not sponsored every time you just mention a company, but I'm not sponsored by them, but I just use them. And I found a really cool photographer who does food photography. And I kind of just followed her steps and guidelines and got some interesting shots, which I normally don't do and I'm normally really bad at food photography, but it was really fun to just try something new and I encourage you guys to do the same. You don't have to have any fancy equipment. You don't have to have the DSLR. You can do everything from your iPhone. Learning new skills is a good way to pass the time. About a year ago with my aforementioned camera, I started getting into videography, as you can probably tell because you're watching a video right now. And I started filming behind the scenes of life as a pro athlete in Europe. So interviews and all kinds of things. You're gonna see tons of that stuff on this channel if you feel like having a little browse. And I definitely plan on doing more of that kind of stuff once the season starts back up. But for now, I'm kind of in lockdown like all of you guys are. There's no volleyball going on. So I've been doing some, some dabbling. So I've got some vlogs going on. We've done some baking. We've done, I have did an, um, an engagement shoot for one of my teammates who's here in lockdown with me. I've even just been getting footage of my cat, my, they're not even my cats, of the cats on the balcony. Not to be confused with the time that I sat down with Lindsay and we actually sang cats on her balcony. Totally different video. Memory. Oh, all alone in the moon. This is perfect for the wind. I feel like I have so many ideas in my head of what I want to film, but it's a fun way to pass the time. It's gonna be memories to look back on. I know a lot of people are getting into TikToks. That's not really my thing, but go for it. It's fun and it's a way to pass the time. Working out. So you can't really get away with calling yourself a professional athlete without 
working out as it turns out. You can't really get paid to play volleyball without keeping yourself fit. So I've been trying to work out every day. We'll either do a team workout together outside in the grass or a little bit of yoga or my favorite. Actually, I never thought I would say my favorite. I've never liked running, but I really look forward to running at the end of the day. I just, after a whole day of seeing no one and just being on my computer, editing, computer-ing, it just feels so good to just throw on your shoes, put in your headphones and just turn your legs over. In the evening, the sun, sun's going down, there are animals and birds and other people out on the road. I've really started looking forward to it. And I think if you're not, if you're someone who doesn't normally run like myself, you might actually enjoy it too. You can just listen to your favorite podcast. I listen to Sunny Leonarduzzi. She is an entrepreneur. And then when I get home, I treat myself with a beer because apparently that's good for recovery. I don't know. I've had, people have told me that. Physi physio, physiotherapy? No, physical. I've had physical trainers who have told me that. So I trust them. Another thing I've been getting into <laughs> are podcasts. I made a whole video harping on about my favorite volleyball podcasts, which you can see here. I've been listening to all kinds of podcasts. So I mentioned Sunny earlier. I listen to Wave Social. I listen to One Kind Creative, a bunch of creative, inspirational, motivational, that kind of thing. Even sporty podcasts. I've been listening to that Peter Crouch show and I don't even like soccer, but I kind of see it as research because I know I told you guys this, but maybe you forgot, but it's coming out soon. The CEB reached out to me and they asked me to be a co-host for one of their podcasts, for their only podcast coming out called The Ace Space. I'll link that in the bio. And that's why I have this new microphone. So thank you very much, CEB. And I'm really nervous about it. I'm excited. We've already started filming some episodes, filming. We've already started recording some episodes and it's really exciting stuff, but I find it hard to be funny and likable and interesting all at once on command without being able to just chop up the footage. So I've been doing some research by listening to other podcasts. All right, so the last thing that I've been doing in quarantine is joining communities. I don't know if you guys are feeling a little bit disconnected like me. Obviously, I'm really lucky because I have my fr some friends in lockdown here with me. You got your family, you can always FaceTime. But it's sometimes it's kind of nice to just chat to strangers. <laughs> that sounds so weird. But I've been joining communities for videography, for photography, for all the things that I'm interested in. I've been trying to leave comments on other people's YouTube videos about volleyball if I feel like I have some insight to share. It's just cool to connect with people have, who have similar interests and we live in a day and age where that is possible and I haven't really been taking that much advantage of it recently or ever, but now recently I have been getting into it. You know what I mean. And sometimes there are creators that you follow that might put out challenges or contests and it's really fun to join in on them even if you don't even end up sending the video for example because your cats didn't cooperate with you. It's still fun to just try and sort of hone your skills and practice your craft. All right guys, so that is it. That's how I've been staying creative and active and productive during quarantine. And I hope you guys have been too. Yes, I'm a professional volleyball player and some of these things have nothing to do with that, but I think I'm so much more than just an athlete. And I think you are too. And I think this is the perfect time to dive into those other sides of yourself. What makes you happy? What are you interested by? What's What are you curious about? And just give yourself the free time to just be bad at stuff <laughs> and nobody has to know. So I'm really curious what you guys are doing. Are you watching any Skillshare classes? Are you listening to any cool podcasts that I should know about? Let me know in the comments and like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are a volleyball player who is more than just a volleyball player. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love. Bye.